Wang Wood, who is being recognized as one of the last artists. Dahil had po tayo, ay pwedeng maging isang bayan sa ating saling paraan. Beautiful ako sa kung ano ako, oh, sa kung oh. ano yung meron ako. We were able to give about a thousand bicycles to ten cities in Metro Manila. The Iron Lady of Asia, ganito nakilala si Senator Miriam Defensor Santiago noong nabubuhay pa siya. The winner of Asia's next top model is Maureen! Which is the Interviewing you for the Olympic qualifiers, it's such an honor to be on your channel, to be your guest this time. It's a pleasure also to take off the the host hat and be a guest. <laughs> Sobrang parang thank you Lord, dinala mo ako dito kasi napakaswerte ko na tama yung timing, tama yung daan, lahat na tutunan ko bago ko dumating dun sa mga opportunity na yon. And I still have a lot to learn. Super, and dami pa talaga. And I want to, you know, be better to grow better. And I'm just grateful that I get the privilege to be uh, in the front row of of those competitions. Well, now that you're talking about purposeful service, I think something that I saw on social media it truly inspired me. Especially, it was. I believe it was early of last year or late of last year. You did this campaign, donate a bike, save a job campaign. What was your inspiration behind that to do that purposeful service? I mean, it was a scary time, you know, but you still did that, and I find that truly amazing. So, can you tell us a little bit more about that? I, I really felt moved to do something in the pandemic to help out. Parang I wasn't okay with just staying at home and having a comfortable life and you know getting to eat, getting to you know posting stuff kasi alam mo naman yan, diba, tayo, they give us all kinds of stuff to post. Yeah. Diba? And then we we also earn from it. Parang hindi ako happy na okay yung buhay ko tapos mga tao sa labas Hindi, parang, I, I, you know, that was uh, really itching to do something. Eh. So I decided to donate bikes. It was just supposed to be mga 30. 30 lang. Meron tayong 30 bikes na ibibigay mula sa Woman in Action PH. Ito po yung grupo ko. Nag-fundraiser po kami para sa mga bisikleta para mabigyan po ng trabaho yung mga nawalan po ng trabaho ngayong pandemya. Tapos, parang may nagsabi sa akin, lakas mo naman loob mo, 50. Gawin mo na 50. Kasi sabi ko, I'll, I'll try fundraising. Kasi I'm sure I have a lot of friends who, you know, might be interested to donate. Pero kung hindi nila kaya or wala akong ma-fundraise, ako dapat magbabayad. So it has to be a, an amount that I can shoulder. So you turn, so 30 lang, 30 lang. Pero sabi, hindi, kaya mo yan. Wala ka pong bilib sa sarili mo. Gawin mo na 50. Tapos nung, nung ginawa kong 50, ayan! First day pa lang, may nag-donate na 100 bikes si Piolo Pascual. <laughs> wow! Oh, 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 grabe. And then, you know, people love the idea. Then it became bigger and bigger and bigger. It went viral. People, you know, I had 10,000 applications for the bikes. So I only had 50. But good thing, the donations poured in. And then we ended up with 1,000. But I had 10,000 applications so just, you know, imagine, it was like a story of the five loaves, two fish, na mm -hmm. you started with so small and then it became super big and just the resources coming in, the people coming in, my staff, volunteering, parang, I don't think it was me, it was really God using me. Yung hangarin talaga namin, eh, makatulong talaga kami sa mga tao, sa isang... Uh, sustainable na paraan. Kaya itong bisikleta, mabibigyan sila ng access to livelihood. To be able to help a lot of people and I just have to open my arms and 
and um, step into the shoes of you know uh, organizing the whole thing and parang di ba pag napunta ka doon sa ganung lugar do you say no to it di ba you don't eh. you you step up you step up into the role same goes with this year si MVP naman na donate sa akin ng 500 bikes eh dapat tapos na ako <laughs> I was supposed to be done, 1,000. I was just finishing off my budget and then he messages me wanting to donate 500 bikes. Parang, teka, 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 teka. <laughs> Kasi it's, it's, not, it's not a joke, no. It's, it's, uh, you're right, no. It's a big responsibility. But I can't say no to to helping. I can't say no to the Lord. And thank God, uh, He has provided and He has kept my whole team safe. Wala kami, wala nang COVID sa amin. But um, every time we'd go out there, I can't lie to you. There's always that fear na may magka COVID sa amin, and I'd be responsible for that. So we have a system of doing things, but that's as far as how you know we can control. But Swerte talaga, walang nagka-COVID sa amin. Pasalamat na lang sa Diyos. <laughs> I'm so glad you're doing so many great things for people. And um, I feel like I'm also asking this for myself. But for our listeners right now, what advice can you give someone who truly wants to help, but they don't know how or, or where to start? What's the first thing they should be doing? You know, I think you should just... Even if even if it's just a small drive, it doesn't matter. Um, kahit na kung wari, magpadala ka lang ng, let's say, pagkain sa frontliners. And it doesn't even have to be people you don't know. It can be like family members, relatives. Sabi ko nga, eh, this time, the least thing that you can do, the easiest, but can be hard thing to do, is to be kind to people. Batiin mo sila, kausapin mo sila ng, ng mabuti, Uh, bumati ka ng good morning. Kasi ano eh, it's a tough time eh, mentally. Parang lahat tayo, parang uh, we, we face anxiety, loneliness, um, some depression. I mean, just start with those small things and then maybe if you want something bigger than that, pwede nga, ano, ano, what, whatever it is that you're passionate for. Kung mare, yung sa akin kasi yung drive ko, kaya napili ko yung bike. Kasi I wanted to help people na sustainable. Uh, I didn't want to give them money kasi mauubos lang yun. Or food kasi mauubos din yun. What I wanted to give them something that would last them like two years to five years and they can really uh, empower themselves, which is the bike. So, kung mare am um, kayo kung gusto niyo subukan niyo mag fundraise kahit isa lang di ba magugulat talaga kayo na there are so many people who are willing to help na hindi lang kailangan lang nila mahanap yung right person right avenue and the the number one key i think to fundraising is trust So that's why I kept on posting what you were doing kasi for transparency purposes. Tapos bigla dumadami pa rin. Kaya meron na ngayon nag nagtag sa akin na sangguni ang kabataan. They started their own bike drive. Yes, I saw that. I wanted to actually ask you about that. See, you're inspiring others to do this, which I inspired myself. You know, Sir Mark, let's start something soon. <laughs> Why not? You can. You totally can. You, kahit pagpamigay ka lang sa channel mo, at di ba? Alam mo yun? Make it a habit. You're also influencing other people to do the same. You know, it starts in small things and then becomes waves. Yes. Thank you for that, Gretchen. Now, We're going to talk about the Shiro You Are. Um, a video that stuck with me personally is you mentioned the pride you feel in a male-dominated world. And it's not every day that we hear this, especially on cam. So I definitely want to ask you, where do you get this courage to have this strong voice to always put your views and your foot strong? As a woman, I'm very proud to be in a space that's male-dominated. I feel like just by being there, by telling these stories, I can empower other women to do the same. I think it comes from ano, being an athlete and I think you'd know that. Parang palaban kasi tayo eh. Alam mo yung ayaw mong magpatalo. I, I, I grew up in a household with my brothers challenging me to a game of basketball. And I would always try to prove to them na hindi porket babae ako, hindi ko kayo, kayo talunin, ganyan. Tapos, I would be like super rough on them, gagaranin ko sila. Tapos, you know, I'd fight for my, for myself and my dignity as a woman. 
I guess it comes from there. And I think yung sa akin my my the way I try to promote women, I don't so much talk about it, but I try to to live it to the roles that I take and the the worlds that I get into. I think makes a strong statement already. I don't need to talk so much. But it's just ano eh, parang knowing that when you are in the midst of men, you can hold your own and they should respect you also. Parang the way you carry yourself, makikita nila doon eh, parang kung may confidence ka wala. Um, it doesn't even matter. Parang it's a gender ah. Parang when, for example, when you're hosting, you're in a different world. If you go there and you show that you respect yourself, that you love yourself, automatically people will also do the same. So, yeah. it, you know, a lot of um, inner work, self-love, self-confidence. We should start with really true self-love. Uh, lahat ng, ano, ng flaws mo, kailangan mo tanggapin yun. Kailangan mong ma-appreciate that you are who you are. And then trying to exude that. And that makes people respect you also. But, you know, don't never allow others, of course, to disrespect you. You have, you have to put your boundaries then. Yeah, I definitely understand that. And I'm still learning how to do that today. So, yes, check on the self-love. I'll definitely keep that in mind. And now that we're talking about women, I mean, before, I mean, way back when, even my parents and my grandparents' time, women in your field, they would just feel that they're alone. And now, it's women, there's some women in this space. So every time that you talk about the stories of women, their hardships and success, was there ever a time where you kind of felt pressure or fear on um, kind of sharing their stories? I mean, do you feel this pressure because you're sharing the stories of women? You had to say something right. You had to kind of change it so that the world can see how strong women really are. You know, the worst that I've encountered would be people telling me, that I'm intimidating and I'm too strong. Parang it's maybe because I know how to speak my mind. I know how to articulate. I'm, I'm kind of straightforward as a person. And for others, they're not used to that. They're used to soft women na parang just, you know, let things... Ako kasi hindi ako ganun. And dito sa Philippines, when you're like that, it's automatically ah, intimidating ka kasi. Kaya ganyan eh, ganun ganyan. Pero pagka pumunta ako sa ibang country, parang ako naman yung shy type doon. I think it's just different, very different here, culture-wise. Like, um, the expectations on women is you have to be some kind of way or you, when you're vocal, you're already intimidating. Parang I think yun yung dapat nating baguhin. But when it comes to telling stories of women, never naman ako naka-encounter ng, ng challenges. I think, ano eh, <laughs> parang hindi ko alam kung ano eh, takot, mas takot ata sila sa akin, baliktad. <laughs> I mean, sometimes I get scared to talk to you, but I'm learning to use my voice the same way you're teaching me right now. <laughs> But thank you for that. And my one of my last few questions is actually, I feel like a lot of our listeners can truly relate. I mean, in our society, how can we translate this awareness to action? How can we do that to empower other women? I really think that, you know, um, women should bring up other women with them wherever they go. So when you get into a space where there, there are less female voices in the room, you should try to bring other women with you in the room. So, syempre, it starts with you first, wherever you are. You know, keep keep up the good work. Um, I think tama ka, no? there's, so, there's much more pressure on us to perform, to show that we are also capable. And when you do get into that space, you know, please try to, to take other women with you. Which is why I say, that the power of storytelling can spark the most profound change for women everywhere. Connect with other women, know them, and help them tell their stories. Don't engage in any bringing other people down. I think you um, promote a healthy culture where a lot of women can succeed also. 
And uh, yun nga, when you get into a place where you're successful, try to make it make more programs or projects that will lead to the development of other younger female leaders wherever you are diba parang ang sa, sa women naman ang kulang lang sa atin dito sa Pilipinas mostly courage eh. courage to speak courage to act courage to lead courage to say something courage to do something sometimes people just need a nudge or an affirmation diba it's it's mostly that and always remember that you know when you're a woman you have a different kind of strength you should embrace it when you're in the room being a woman i think is an advantage rather a disadvantage so you should know that you're special thank you for that and oh gosh i'm so like nakikilig nahihiya or something because we've switched seats so thank you so much for your time gretchen So as a woman in action, as the woman in action you are, a Shiro, one of my Shiros, what can you say and advice to our listeners today? What can I advise to everyone today? Well, first of all, it starts with having self-confidence, loving yourself, knowing yourself, um, facing yourself. That's, that's a very difficult task. Don't be so hard on yourself though. Um, allow yourself to fail, to make mistakes. Because I I started out being just like that. Um, pag masama yung daro ko noon, I would take it so hard. Um, As in, pupunta ako sa labas, tapos um, I would stay there for a long time, beating myself up over mistakes that you know kept on replaying in my head. And there's always a question of, of self-worth. And when you look in the mirror, I, I hated looking at myself in the mirror before. But you have to face yourself, even, you know, the thing, the parts of you that you don't like and parts of you that you like. And when you do that, know that you can be better, you can improve. You don't have to, you know, be perfect all the time. I think it's our quirks, our weirdness that make us truly unique. You know, do what you can for yourself to love yourself. Parang it's not for other people, pero kung ano yung para sa'yo that would make you feel better about yourself. Di ba sabi nga nila yung parang sa Philippines kasi gusto gusto nila ng mga mapayat. Mm. Pero that's not the weight for everyone. What is the best weight? The best weight is the weight that you are confident in. So it's the same with everything that you do. At the end of the day, you face yourself. You live with yourself. You try to make those choices for you. Know that you can be better tomorrow, today and tomorrow. Uh, the Gretchen that you see now is so far from the Gretchen in college. And that's because, you know, I had a vision na parang, I want to be better. I want to bring out the best in myself because I know this is not it. I know I can be, you know, this this person I envision, na confident, na na somebody I'd be proud of, somebody who's capable of speaking, if, of um, you know, presenting herself to may it be corporate or or in kabataan or whatever role I find myself in. It started in my head as a vision, and then I worked towards that. You know, it's it's a it's a long journey, like I said, but it starts with facing yourself, loving yourself for everything. And one thing to be better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Gretchen, for imparting your knowledge. I learned so much and I truly enjoyed this time with you. Thank you, Police. We are Good journey. Luck to Thank you so much, Gretchen. To my fellow Shiros, let's make a difference and reshape the world together. Follow me in our future episodes and discover your power from within. Our time is now. This is Pauline Lopez and see you soon on Shiro Talk.